Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, glory to my power, Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, Bashim, Kakudash. Double honor to my elders and apostles, great millstone, who rule well, teach well, be in good as I'm touch on my brothers. And peace and blessings throw for all that global. I'm a part of that number. I'm the brother Kadar from the GM, GMS branch Chicago. Come back another video. This video is going to be entitled uh, Hazard Lives. Okay. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to I'm going to read. The first precept which I have planned out This is Acts 15 and 26 Men that have hazarded their lives For the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach Okay And if you go into that word um, Hazard It goes into to give over To the hands of something Okay To, to um, Yeah to, to give over Give something over to the hands of someone else And what have we given over to the Lord We give, We have given our lives over to the Lord all right, we have um, chosen to, to forsake this world that's going to pass away to serve the Lord for and, uh, and be rewarded, man. All right, immortality. All right, be joint heirs with the Lord. That's what we chose, okay? And ultimately, it's not what we chose, okay? Well, I'm hoping to be of that we, okay, because I'm not 144% of the elect, you know, I'm hoping to be, you know, we, it's good to say we dare not make ourselves of that number, all right, I believe it's in, it's in uh, Corinthians, and um, yeah, you know, we hope to be of the elect, and we fight and striving to be of the elect, okay, but um, yeah, uh, you know, to be joint heirs, to you how shy, man, all right, eternal king, eternal glory, all right, unlimited resources, man, hey, everything is coming to the elect, man. Okay, I lost my train of talk, thought for a second. That's why I gotta stop doing that. But um, yeah, man, we gave over our life to the Lord, man, for the greater good. Okay, because this world is, is gonna get destroyed and it's polluted with wickedness. All right, and it has to be exterminated. All right, and if, if you in if you in line, all right, if you in league with this world, you're gonna be exterminated with it. All right, because you you either with the Lord or you're not. All right, and that's something that's shown through your actions. This is uh, Matthew 10. It's like, let me, uh, give me a second. Matthew 10 and 38. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth me is not worthy of me. Okay? So you have to take that cross and follow the Lord, man. Okay? Uh, and he that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it, man. So we losing our life for the Lord. All right? Hey, this ain't even, this ain't even living. This is hell, man. <laughs> hey, America is finished. All right, let me just record. All right, come on. You know, hey, because the Lord, we didn't choose to be part of the truth. You know, hey, the scripture saying in John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So we all had little plans in the world of what we wanted to do, this and that. We want to become this, that. But that's not what the Lord had planned. You know, you can't escape the Lord's will. You know, um, Jonah tried it, you know, got swallowed by a fish. You know, learn his lesson. All right, uh, Jeremiah. Okay. The Lord told him to man up, you know, even though he was a young, he was a young man, you know, very young. All right, what they would consider a teenager today or a preteen because, you know, he had to be around 12, 13, 14, 15. You know, he said a very young man. But nevertheless, you know, um, yeah, man, hey, the Lord wakes you up, man. You have to do his will. Okay. He that find his life shall lose it. You know, so if you're seeking a life here in America, you know, hey, you're going you gonna to lose it. Yeah, you're going to be destroyed with it. But he that loses his life for my sake shall find it right. Because we have a, a gift. All right, we have a reward for this. Right, this is Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. So if you don't love your life, man. So if you uh, if you hate your life, you don't love your life, hey, you in the right spirit. Because we can't truly be satisfied here, you know. Uh, you know, of course, we content with what the Lord got us. You know, we we grateful. You know, that keeps you uh, humble as well. But we also, hey, we in the midst of uh, total wickedness, man. Hey, this place is an exact opposite of what the Lord said it's supposed to be. Because a uh, because a base man is in power. Okay. Hey, the scriptures say um, when a righteous are in authority the people rejoice when wicked and bear fruit the people mourn all right this is uh let me tell you to read and, and 
by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives until death, man. So we hate we hate it here, and this captivity, man. All right, we want that sovereign. We want that uh, sovereignty back, man. All right, under the Lord. Romans fourteen and seven. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For he, whether we live, it's like I said, for whether we live unto the Lord, or whether we die, we die unto the Lord, man. Okay? Wherefore we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Hey, we belong to the Lord. Our lives don't belong to us, man. You know? Can't just uh, try to give the most out of the get a most out of middle finger and say, I want to do what I want to do. Hey, you're going to get destroyed, man. You know? You got to hazard your life. You got to you gotta really, really uh, count the cost. Like the scriptures say, you got to count the cost. Hey, my my people is going to be against me. My uh, my my family going to be against me. My kids going to be against me. My job going to be against me. My friends going to be against me. Okay? Forget them. Don't even worry about it, man. All right? Hey, you, you have to forget them, man. Or right, you have to put them on the back and put the Lord first. Because they your family can't save you. You know? You either fear the Lord or you either fear these people out here, man. You know? You either try to serve the Lord or try to serve these people out here. You know, you really have to, like the, like I just said, like the scriptures say, count the cost, man. You know, uh, a lot of people that in, a lot of people that fall out don't count the cost. They didn't expect it to be this hard, this sorrowful. Okay? This uh, um, tempting. Okay? So, um, Lord willing, that was a quick and edifying video. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakudash, Shalom, and the bottle ball. Lord willing, that this video was edifying.